Why was a bass player really upset at one of my last gigs? Don't know. Because I detuned one of his bass strings and he was absolutely furious because I wouldn't tell him which one. Hello, I'm Guy Denning. And I'm Sophie. Welcome back to The Riff. This edition has to be remote due to Covid. Anyway, tonight we have Konak with his new single Prophecy. And Georgie Fisher will be singing her new track, Fall Apart. And Rody Pete with some string tips. Special guest is 60s icon Chris Farlow and his amazing track, Handbags and Glove Rags. And we'll be having a chat with Chris and the band around a curry. Now we have Connacht with his new UK single, Prophecy, which was dropped on November the 30th. Imagine what it's like to be In heaven, looking up At hell, a fairy tale
Mike, what did you think? He and his bass player Lena are brilliant. They have that pagan goth style. We really impressed. So here's my interview with Connac. Hi Connac, hope you're keeping well. Hi Sophie, it's a pleasure. Hi Sophie. So, seeing your video, very different to a lot of songs that are out there at the moment. Yes, I guess we are different. And um, what's the inspiration behind this song? Prophecy is a mystical way of saying we need to get our act together as a species. Or our future is looking a bit grim. So the whole video is steeped in UK goth tradition with your self-identifying makeup, your backing vocalist Lena. Yeah, Lena is the uh, bass player also of the band and together we write the songs. And our makeup is just part of our style. Are you intending on making an album out of this material? Well, Sophie, the album's bubbling in the cauldron, three quarts cooked, and should be done by February. We've made our album as a fantastic way of looking at reality and a few issues. Are you looking for a record deal at the moment, or are you just concentrating on writing new material? We'll seize every opportunity and we'll definitely explore all possibilities. Our main function is to keep on writing and keep on creating. And releasing independently until someone steps in with the capabilities to take it to a higher level. So when the gigs are back out and we can all go back out again, are we going to see you guys live? Yeah, so when the time comes, we'll be out there smashing at maximum. The live energy is definitely something we love. Thanks, Connex. And now it's time for Eek of the Week. It's something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Oh, you got me want to tell all them other girls. There's nothing else better on this world. The moment I seen her, I was in shock. And here's Rody Pete with his news. Well, thanks, Guy. Nice. There isn't much news because everything's locked down and bands can't play and there's no gigs and they've been pushed into a corner. But there is one thing they can do and that is play together online. Jamulus uh, is one of the platforms they use and it's very good. And if you, you can have a look at YouTube stroke jamulous and um, you can play with your mates and it's good for lounge room musicians and professional musicians give it a try <laughs> and now we have 60s icon Chris Farlow being interviewed by Rody Pete and Steve Oakman over a bunny chow curry then off with the band for a sitting room jam of his hit Handbags and Glad Rags. Johnny's in the corner of the station bar, but the blue song bad case in the hills yard. He took a sip of painless mess. Where does this all go? And well, does anyone's get? Okay, we're going off to see uh, Chris Farrell. Oh, yeah. Remember Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everyone remembers Chris. The best blues singer in the world. He had Out of Time, Handbags and Bad Rags, and my favourite, Stormy Monday Blues. We're still doing that, you and me, remember? And um, so it's over in Will of the Tanker East somewhere. <laughs> so rockers and mashers are theme, but today we're doing a curry. So, uh, uh, have you learned the chords to um, 
Yeah, I've been practicing. You've yeah. been practicing? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to follow you because uh, I never got around to doing it. <laughs> but you know how it is. So, uh, so look, I'll busk it. I'll busk it. Yeah. Do all that. Oh. But Chris, I know he's a good guy. And as I said before, the best blues singer in England. So, I'll, yeah. so we'll follow him. He knows what he's doing. We know. Yeah. How's the roller getting around? All right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're away. Sorry, but there were no buskers today, please. Come on in. Welcome to the house. How are you, man? Very good. Hey, doing? Hey, doing? Nice right. to see you. I'm Rattlebone Pete, Dad. Hello. You're Rattlebone Pete? Yeah, I'm Rattlebone Pete, and this is Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. That's going to make a bunch of Yeah. Bit of cooking and a bit of music. You don't know what's going on. You've been away for far too long. You can't come back. You are still mad. You're out of touch, my baby. My poor fashion, baby. I said, baby, 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 you're out of time. Hello. Oh, the church station's down the road. <laughs> Please come on in here. We're, we're hungry. We're yeah, hungry. come hungry. on in. Uh, we're nice to see you. Come in. Come into the kitchen. Oh, we want food and right, water. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, the band's arrived. I wonder if that's a drama. There is a drama. Good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> what to do here is I'm going to hack this off the end of the loaf. So. And I do a nice little cut around the edge, just rough cut to get that right. Put your hand in and rip out the inside. What do we eat? Okay. Like so. And that is what the curry is going to go in, and also the other little potato dish we got going. All right. That's it. And here we have. This is called bunny chow, chow. Bunny chow, isn't it? Yeah, bunny chow. Come on in. Right. Okay, we're going to cut this pepper up. We're going to make a nice curry. Lovely, lovely. Okay, no, chicken yeah. curry, like a chicken korma. That'd be lovely. Right, nice, yeah. So here's a little cutter. Good. Deadly. There you are. Oh, watch him. Want me to do that? Here, you chop that the up. The other one or the red one? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do the red one. You, you do, do the red one. It looks good on the salad on the plate. That's it. Perfect. Uh, nice finger technique. Nice though, chippy Excellent. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get those seeds yeah, out. Yeah, get, get them seeds out. Yeah, so Chris, how did you get started in all this game? What, making curries or? No, making music <laughs> and curries. <laughs> Oh, well, my mother was a pianist in the, uh, just after the, well, during the war. Yeah. I was born at the beginning of the war. Yeah. So we lived in London, of course, Islington. And, um, and my mother would sit me down and teach me Doris Day songs. Doris Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Secret Love and all that sort yeah. of stuff, you know. And the Deadwood stage goes rolling on over here. Oh, yeah. lovely. Yeah. Well, Doris Day is one of my favourite yeah. singers. Yeah, yeah, always. Oh, she's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, yeah, it's excellent. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and you're right, yeah. Yeah, so your uh, your first band was that was the, um, cool. the Skiffle Group. Skiffle right? Group, John Henry Skiffle Group. John Henry, because that's my name, John Henry Dyne. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So that's where we got that from. And of course, John Henry was a is a famous American folk song. John Henry, still driving man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so that that's how we remained ourselves. You know. Get the get the, get the, take, the take the rough edge. I'm here, I'm here. I'm There's here. Jeffrey. Come on, Jeffrey. You've got to do your your, your salad, mate. I'm a strange silent yeah. type. Where am I? Here? We're waiting to get a chat. Oh, Hello, boy. It's like Floyd, look. Oh, yeah. It's like Floyd. You've got to have the wine, mate. You've got to have the wine, mate. Right? <laughs> yeah. Nice wine.
Jack sing a song that was written especially for me by Mr. Michael Darbo in 1967, I think it was. And it's one of the great songs of all time in this business, and it was written for me. This is Handbags and Glad Rags. <laughs> Trying to make the other side Ever seen a young girl, she's growing old Trying to make herself a bride I'm Rody Pete back again with some tips for you guitar players of how to put a string on a guitar the correct way without overlapping it and just wrapping it around and shoving it through. My mate Jamie down at Southampton Guitar Store is going to take you through the correct way of putting strings on a guitar. Take it away Jay. Hi I'm Jamie from the guitar store in Southampton and today I'm going to be showing you how to restring a guitar. Now, they're all a bit different, but today we're just going to be re-stringing a straight-up acoustic guitar. 
There's a number of reasons why you want to restring the guitar if you broke the string or if the strings are too old. If the strings are too old, you will have intonation problems and tuning issues. So it's always good to have a good set of strings on your guitar. So first off, we're going to be using three tools today, a pair of wire cutters, a string winder and a tuner. First off, we're going to loosen off the strings. Now, so the peg ends, pegs need to come out. String winders do have a puller on the end there, which you're supposed to be able to get under there and pull the pegs up. Personally, I always use a pair of cutters. Just very gently, just get it under the head and pull it out. We're going to start restringing. Now, so these strings, now this is the important thing with an acoustic guitar. The easiest way to do it is to put a little kink in the ball end. Now, when that string goes through that hole, what you don't want is that ball to end up at the bottom of the peg like that. It needs to be about there. So that as you feed the string in, if you push the peg in gently, you can suddenly feel where the peg is still moving and the string isn't. Feel that? See that? And that's the first one in. Show you that again. We're just going to bend it slightly. Right, so all the strings are in this end. This is the bit that people have trouble with. Now, there's two aspects, important aspects of restringing a guitar. You need enough slack. You need to end up with at least two to three windings around that capstan and they need to wind down. Now how I do that, I pull the string tight and I put my hand underneath. And that hand's probably about five inches. Sometimes if you've got small hands you might want to stick your thumb up in there. But if you do the same on each string you'll end up with a similar amount of winds on each, each capstan. So this is how much slack we now got. So now, I'm going to start winding the string on. Now if you watch, as the string winds on, I'm keeping the tension on, and I'm making sure the winding winds underneath the preceding wind. So the strings are on. We now need to stretch them in. This is the second most important thing. You need to take the stretch out of the strings. If you don't take the stretch out of the strings, it, you will have trouble with tuning, uh, it will keep dropping. Now, how hard do you pull the strings, you're probably saying, but I mean, if you, if you don't break the odd string, then you're probably not pulling hard enough. And you need to stretch the string at different points, down here by the saddle, in the middle of the neck, and through the nut, lift the string out of the nut, and make sure you stretch the whole string, to get all that excess slack out the string. So we're more or less there now, so we're going to just retune the guitar set up, because quite often, even when the guitar is laid on the bench, just the weight of the, um, the guitar on the neck will cause the tuning to get out a little bit. So we're now just going to...
I saw him walking down the street again Want to live and love and laugh and smile again Think I will go home instead and cry again Got no place I want to be I paved the way to be free But I don't want it anymore Bassists play hide and seek. I don't know. Nobody will look for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this week. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>